Welcome back to the channel and today we got five new knives to check out. One of them was going to be an Amazon Knife of the Month pick but I'm just going to show it to y'all. This is from Spearhead Products. I thought it looked interesting so I wanted to check it out. It was only $65 and you have real carbon fiber through and through. As you can see there, hopefully you can see the weave. And uh, it's nice and contoured. You got a flipper, blade hole, and it's a crossbar lock. Now, when I first flipped this, I was like, man, it's pretty darn snappy for a, a crossbar lock. I mean, pretty nice. Um, but whenever I did like this, it felt pretty stiff. Now it is on bearings and it reverse flicks really well. Well, whenever I went in there to check it out a little bit more, I was kind of inspecting it. Like the blade, you have, uh, I think it's D2 on there. Yeah, D2. And whenever I looked inside of here, this is the first time I've seen this done like this. If you look in there, you have double detent. See the little leaf in there? I don't know if you can see it from this side or this side. Which side's better? You can kind of see it sitting on the tang, hopefully. Ah. And then on that side, well, it's creating a detent in the closed position, but also when you pull those mega springs back, this blade is not going to be a free dropper because those double detents are sitting on both sides of the blade causing drag. Definitely allows you to reverse flick a little bit easier, but I don't think it's necessary. If you, if you have the tension dialed correctly on an axis lock, then it should flip nicely. I have several of them that flip really good. Any of the knives I show in the video, if you're interested in any of them, I have, always have them linked in the description if they're available. Most of the time they are affiliate links, so if you want to help support what I do here on the channel, that is one way to do so, but definitely don't feel obligated. This next one, I don't think y'all have seen this one before. This is the brand new Trivisa Columba. And it's it's rather interesting. The micarta, I don't, and you're not going to see it, but it has like, let's listen to this. It's got an a interesting, almost like a peel ply texture to it. I think it feels nice. It offers a ton of grip without being uncomfortable. And this is a nice size Trivisa. Excellent flipping action because that flipper tab sitting in front of that pivot. This thing rockets out and look at that blade. Beautiful drop point, uh, 14C, 28 inch steel. Got a full flat on it. And some fuzz from my pants right there. <sighs> deep carry pocket clip they inset the pocket clip but not the screws at least they use dome screws it is reversible and this thing has beautiful action has those blade windows on both sides and it reverse flicks nicely it's got some good jimping up here and it's very lightweight for its size let me give you a size reference with the Ontario Rat 1 <coughs> so if you go butt to butt you can see the Rat 1 just a hair longer but if you go pivot to pivot, you have just about the same blade length if you go pivot to pivot. Just uh, reference with that Spearhead Products knife. It's a medium sized knife. I'll put, <coughs> put it up against the Ontario Rat 2 because I think that'd be closer. Yeah, if you go butt to butt with the Rat 2, it's a little bit longer than a Rat 2. Pivot to pivot. It's a little bit bigger than a Rat 2. But this Columba comes in, I think, $52. Definitely, definitely think it's worth that. Now, this next knife, I think I have another one on the way. I tried to cancel it, but they didn't cancel it in time. So I'll probably just give it away to one of you guys. I reviewed the Kershaw Iridium, oops, Kershaw Iridium back on the channel a while back. And I like this knife a lot. This knife caused me to get, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four Kershaws here recently. And I like them all. Very glad I decided to take a chance on it. But they dropped this new reverse Tanto, Tanto, however you want to say it, version. And I thought it looked great. It looks like an excellent utility cutter. It's got beautiful action. This time they went with black aluminum and like a whitish, silverish aluminum backspacer. You got a nice stone wash finish. I think it's still, yeah, still in D2. I would have much preferred 14C, but uh, 
I know from experience if they if Kershaw puts 14C on it, they're going to charge quite a bit for it. Yeah, still same good ergos. I think they should be about it's the same handle exactly. And looks like yeah, same length pretty much. <laughs> One difference between besides the color of the back spacer and the aluminum right here is this one has a nice beautiful stone wash to it and this one has a satin finish to it yeah definitely now the uh omega springs feel like they increased attention the a little bit on the the newer one at least on mine which is a good thing because this one it, it's not you know overly loose but it, it definitely could have been stronger i guess i will try to do a review on this one if y'all would like to see that and then maybe give one of them away to you know one of y'all that watched the video so i like it i like where kershaw is going you know with the kershaw bel-air you know this is i still i think it's an outstanding outstanding edc knife um and then i, I also had the kershaw heist i think it's another great budget knife uh, semi lightweight uh, definitely want to hear y'all thoughts on the newer Kershaw's I know I'm gonna have uh, mr. Johnny cool that a steel snob and he's gonna be like Ugh, d2 that's a terrible knife and look I prefer a stainless I prefer 14c all day every day however d2 can cut longer than usually 14c depending on the heat treat and um, a lot of the other budget steels. It's just not stainless. That's one of the main reasons why I, I prefer 14C or 154 or Nitro V. But if, if I like the design, it's definitely not going to stop me if it had D2. I, I'm from the 8CR era <laughs> when everything was 8CR instead of D2. So D2, for the price point, I'm definitely, definitely good with it. So there's that one. Next two are fixed blades. One of them, <laughs> I've been wanting to check it out since I've seen it on the channel. This is from BPS Knives, and this is the Bushmate. This is a collaboration with DBK, Dutch Bushcraft Knives. And it's pretty impressive what you get here. The leather sheath is actually nice. It's, it's some rigid leather. It comes with a dangler, a fire steel, and a holder. Ferro rod, I'm sorry. Only thing I noticed already out the box is the, the this loop is too loose. Um, I can pull the knife out with it looped like that. So I may I may pop a little, another hole in it or something. Try to tighten that up some. It's a good size. It's nice and lightweight. They left the raw finish on the flats. It's the same 1066 high carbon. It's got an extremely sharp 90 degree spine. I don't know, you might better see it. There's, You can actually see the burr right there that they left. So you can definitely easily strike that ferro rod with that. You got a nice sharpening choil on it. Uh, good thickness to the scales, nice and comfortable. Yeah, I plan on doing some banging on this one to see how it holds up. I've, I've owned several BPS knives and you know, for what you're paying, it's excellent starter knives. You know, or if, if you, you know, this is all you can afford, I think you'll be more than happy with it. 1066, tough. It's a tough steel. Definitely need to keep it, uh, keep some corrosion inhibitor on it because it will rust on you. Uh, it's not going to hold an edge for all that long, but and like I said, if you're using it for woodcraft stuff, it's going to be perfect for that. So that's that one. This is a beast. This is the new off-grid knives Cayman XXL. They have the, the two folding knives like this. It comes with a really nice Kydex, a nice belt attachment right here that kind of cants off the body. You got a drainage hole at the bottom, tons of lashing points, taco style sheath, beautiful push off point there. Nice positive retention, no rattle. I already tied it, lanyard. I'm I'm cutting it down, but uh, I was about to put a lanyard on it before this video. But look at this beauty. That is one bulky, bulky tip there. Look at that. That's nasty. Uh, big old chunk of D2 steel. 
very, very comfortable because of those thick, thick G10 scales. Nice texture on them, bolt-on construction, just in case you need to remove them, clean off underneath it. Lanyard hole, excellently done sharpening toil. And this is a useful clip point, or useful for me, because it's a very low clip. If I needed to use that tip, I could. <laughs> Not saying I would do it, use it like this, but you could. They got this nice little divots right there. If you had to, you know, clean a, a deer or something with it, you could. Uh, you could probably do some light chopping. It's got some heft to it. But overall, it's just one that puts a smile on my face. I went with the stone wash finish to have a black coated one also. And then uh, I forgot what the other one is. Uh, and then they have a couple of colors of the G10 scales to it. But yeah, just uh, just a, just a, a knife that, I, you know, just it's, it's fun to have. So let me bring them all back out on the review table. Let me know what you'd like to see a review on first. Uh, would you want me to do some sort of review with these, these two fixed blades? If you don't want to see something like that, then I just won't do it. Uh, I like this. The Columba. And then what do y'all think about the newest Kershaw Iridium? And what do y'all think about the double detent system on this? Uh, Amazon knife of the month pick the spearhead products knife wire pocket clip is reversible now in my hands I do kind of feel that pocket clip it's not terrible but I do feel it I bet you if I wanted to I could if I took this apart I could probably push those detent balls out some so they're not is there's not as much tension and uh, just go with the tension on the Omega Springs because I don't care about the flipper I don't like the way that's set up anyway I don't know. I don't know if it's worth all that, but love to hear y'all thoughts. What do y'all What do y'all think about all these? And like I said, which one do you want to see a review on first? All right, guys and girls, I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace out.